a big dream, a big dig, and big games. This is the history of the big house. In the Roaring Twenties, fans were flocking to Ferry Field to watch the Wolverines. This prompted university leaders to call for a massive athletics expansion, which included the intramural sports building, the university's golf course, a women's athletic complex, and a brand new football stadium of the utmost simplicity. Athletic director Fielding Yost led the project and selected a site one mile south of downtown Ann Arbor. Bernard Green, an 1891 alum of the engineering school and architect of Yankee Stadium, was hired to design the new home of Wolverines football. Construction began in the summer of 1926. Steam shovels, trucks, and horses and wagons rushed to dig the bowl before the winter freeze. A high water table at the site caused numerous delays and even sparked the legend that a steam shovel sunk deep into the mud and lies beneath the field to this day. The project finished in time and on budget for the start of the 1927 season. On October 1st, 1927, the first game was played in Michigan Stadium. A meager crowd of about 20,000 fans braved a rainy day to watch Michigan defeat Ohio Wesleyan. But three weeks later, the stadium was officially christened as fans packed in to watch Michigan beat Ohio State 21-0. In 1930, the stadium became the first in the country to install electronic scoreboards. After World War II, attendance spiked again, prompting the 1949 edition of a ring of steel stands rising above the concrete concourse. In less than a decade, another expansion was completed, with the addition of a new press box in 1956. Later that year, Michigan Stadium would host more than 100,000 fans for the first time for a match against Michigan State. The now iconic Block M was painted on the bleachers in 1965. The stadium remained relatively unchanged until 2006, when athletic director Bill Martin announced a four-year, $226 million overhaul. Two new luxury towers were added to the sides of the stadium, including an expansive press box, 82 private suites, and club seating for more than 3,000. For the average fan, new restrooms, concession stands, and two massive LED scoreboards were a welcome addition. But one stadium change was an unforgettable flop. The addition of a yellow halo ring in 1998 sparked a massive outcry from fans. It was removed after just two seasons. Fans have also voiced strong opinions on the stadium's playing surface. Easier to maintain artificial turf arrived in 1969. By 1991, real grass was back in favor. The persistent sogginess prompted a return to artificial turf in 2003. The Wolverines still play on artificial turf, scoring touchdowns and solid blue end zones installed in 2018. Today, crowds of 100,000 pack the big house on weekends in the fall to hail to the victors. <laughs>